Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the free version of Avera and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 460 samples in total. And we will be using these samples to test how well Avera does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. If you would like to see uncut footage of AV testing or one antivirus versus another, go ahead and hit that join button to become a gold member today to gain access to those videos. Now for testing, the procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection. We will let it sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples remaining after that step, we will then execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. At this point, we'll go ahead and click on the turn on option and we will click for check for updates. We are now up to date, but one thing I do want to make sure that you are aware of, we are going with default settings and please be aware that these two options are not included in the standard free version. We'll go ahead and let Avera sit for just a few minutes and we'll see if it's detected anything. Alrighty, it's been a couple minutes. Let's double check our samples folder. We're still at 460. So at this point, let's go ahead and initiate a scan and we will be doing a full scan and we're going to let this sit until it's fully completed. The scan has completed and these are the results. And here it's listed all the details. And let's double check our samples folder. We are down to 11 items remaining. And so at this point, we're going to scan the samples folder directly. And it appears that scanning directly has not detected anything additional. So we're going to go ahead and execute the remaining samples. At this point, we have executed the 11 samples remaining and we are going to go ahead and do a restart and then run some second opinion scans. I ran a scan with Malwarebytes. It came back with 10 results detected and so we're going to go ahead and quarantine. After another computer restart, ran a scan with MZ stuff, came back clean, no results detected. After all of that, there were four results remaining and so I went ahead and uploaded them to VirusTotal and it looks like the first one came back with three positives. The second one came back with 11 engines that detected it. The third had 17. And then the last one came back with nine. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. Avera very well may perform differently in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.